Today, as we look at Jeremiah 30, we see the promises of God's restoration of Judah and Israel coupled together once again with the reasoning for God's judgment of the people. You see, God rightly points out that his people were guilty of sinning against him. As it says in verse 15, Why do you cry out over your hurt? Your pain is incurable because your guilt is great, because your sins are flagrant. I have done these things to you. God allowed the crushing of his people, but as we see in verses 18 through 22, the purpose was for their refinement. Jeremiah 30 is an encouraging promise to his people that one day, still in the future, there will come a time when they will live in peace, not under the control of any other nation, but instead under the king God himself will establish over them. So what can we learn today as 21st century Christians who aren't going through the same situation that Judah is during this time? Well, rather than shoehorning ourselves into this text, let's see what we can learn about God. What stands out to me the most is that no matter the conflict we face in life, whatever difficulty or distress, God is still greater. Verse 7 warns of a day of distress unlike any other that Judah will face. But even in that situation, God is capable of coming to the aid of his people. Here's the best part. We know God's heart is to have people of every tribe, nation, and tongue come to know him. And because we know that his love is for everyone, and he is greater than even the most difficult of times, we can rest in him and know that nothing is outside of his control. Whatever you might be going through, God is capable of rescuing us and redeeming the situation. He is still good even on our worst days. So today, let's remind ourselves to cast our cares upon him because he cares for you.